uh, and this relates to what we were talking about in the opening in our banter, but uh, if you have your real estate license, um, is there, correct me, you say this the right way, I guess, that there's a certain amount of hours that you might work on an annual basis that you're now, quote unquote, a real estate professional. Yeah. That you're able to get additional write-offs or can you give us a rundown on that? You, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. definitely. I so I, I guess first let's talk about the qualifications and then kind of the benefits of that. Cause it, it is kind of a hard, hard test to meet. And I can give a couple of examples um, of that. So the biggest thing is there's two tests. First off, you have to spend more than 750 hours um, in your real estate business. Number two is you have to spend more than half your time in real estate. So a W-2 employee, you know, 52 weeks a year, uh, 40 hours, that's about 2000 hours, maybe a little bit more. So you're probably not going to hit that. However, where that kind of can, where you can, um, where that can maybe kind of come into play is um, if you have a spouse that's not working and wants to be in like your real estate business, um, that could be kind of a workaround because if that spouse isn't working, therefore, um, you know, their time in real estate is probably going to be more than half and it's going to be more than 750 hours. Um, so kind of some best practices with that is you would also want to keep like time logs to substantiate that because this real estate professional status is kind of like, um, it, it has a lot of benefits to it. So the biggest benefit is, um, let's say you have rental losses, especially this year, you probably have a lot of rental losses. If you have non-paying tenants, you can write that off against your active income. So let's say I make a hundred thousand for my W2. Um, and then let's say I have $40,000 in rental losses. I can just deduct that if I'm a real estate professional. So instead of paying taxes on a hundred thousand, potentially you would pay taxes on 60,000. 